Hey, yeah, what's up? The disciple Marcello Kearns rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day. Hey, yeah, so this video right here is basically going to be about um, <clears throat> how the black ancestors um, sold us out into slavery, how African chiefs sold Africans into slavery, and that's part of how we got here. Okay? We got here. Not just from the white man, these African chiefs helped, helped the white man, you know, by selling us into slavery. They sold us into slavery. So it's safe to say that, you know, Africans, we how when we have we ever been unified? When have we ever been for each other when we got here from African chiefs selling us to white people? You know what I'm saying? You sitting up making up all these videos about everybody else, about how the white man did you, showing you down on your knees crying. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't showing the part about how black people sold, Africans sold us into slavery. Yeah, you ain't got no movies about that part. You ain't showing that. You ain't showing that part. It's convenient of you not to show that part. But we need to see it so that we understand the nature of humans because how a lot of these men, people are putting it is if the white man is just some mad devil when in actuality, black people was helping them to get us here. African chiefs was helping to get us here. Okay? That's the reality. Whether we want to accept it or not, whether we want to try to act like we're not some, we like you know. I hear black people. I ask black people this all the time. If we were white people, and black people were white people, and if we were white people and white people were black people, would we have sold them into slavery? This is what black people tell me on the average. No, because we are, we are basically a more good natured people or more humble people that wouldn't have had a pre wouldn't have would have not oppressed somebody another race okay um but we did do that and that's what i should have mentioned we did do that because we sold each other into slavery is that the truth or is not so what does that tell us that really, honestly, everybody is just flawed and evil. Okay? Because for you to sell your own people to some man, you don't know where he's taking them to. And you just letting them go? That's pretty bad. So who's really more evil? The people that know black people or the people that don't? Some people would say the people that are sitting there looking at you every day and seeing you smile and be happy is more evil to sell you into slavery than some man that's foreign, that a white foreign man that comes and just don't know you, know nothing about you, don't even speak your language. Then the person that's there with you every day, watching over you, looking at you, interact with your children. And then just sell you into slavery like it don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? See, kids need to hold, know the whole story. These little 20 year old kids, these little 16, 17, 18 year old kids that sitting around writing essays and stuff about Black Lives Matter need to know that Africans sold us here, helped us get here. It was a joint effort. Just like it's a joint effort right now for black people and white people to 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 crap on you, to defecate on you. It's an American black and white joint effort, just like it was a, a, a white and black and effort to get you here in the first place. It ain't nothing has changed. It was a joint effort to get you here. It's a joint effort to keep you here in captivity. It ain't just white people. If it wasn't, and that's what you need to realize, black people. 
Yes, you selling each other out. It ain't just the Uncle Tom that, that don't like you because you're ignorant. Many of you are, you are. And then you got Uncle Toms that are educated and they look at you like you're stupid. Okay? Not just them. You got people that are straight up what I call hounds for white people. <laughs> Black people that just are like hounds for white racist people. And they go out and they do their work and they do things for them. They have no regards for your color. They have no regards for your color. It's not just the Uncle Tom that just don't like you because he, he feels like you just failed yourself. <laughs> you know, um, it's people that are just used as hounds. You can look at them and tell. I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what kind of black people I'm talking about. They are among white police officers and military and militias. And they're hounds for the white racist cause. This ain't never stopped. You know what I'm saying? So, so for all you people that are pro-black, you need to tell your audience that African chiefs sold you out in the beginning. For all you Zionists, you black Jews and black Zionists, you need to tell your audience the truth that African chiefs sold you out in the beginning so that you, so we know that we're dealing, that who we're dealing with, we're still dealing with, so we know who we're dealing with and we know that it hasn't changed. People will know it hasn't changed and we know the nature of ourselves. Yeah, you yeah, you ain't you ain't never been you ain't never been uh all together in no unity. That ain't never been the case. That has never been the case. Over there in Africa, they still having wars now. And and the difference is, you know, you hang up on each other when you you got hang ups about each other when black on black stuff go on, like black like it's black hate. In Africa, it, it is definitely not racism. It is it is tribal wars, and it's the same thing that's happening here now. You got tribe wars, and white people acting like black people. Some black people are sellouts. Oh yeah, come on. Some of these white people looking at me and other people like we sellouts. Like we gonna stand with the blacks, and we're against you because you're not black. That's why I tell white people stay out of stuff because you don't need, you you walk around and you don't know nothing. You don't know what's really going on with the black community and, and the divisions that's in it. You need to stay out of stuff like that. You don't know nothing about it. You can't sit up and talk about who a sellout when you <laughs> come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You don't have no dog in that fight. You don't have no horse in that race. You need to, That's something that you look real corny and real ridiculous trying to be in. You can't sit up and talk about nobody being in no like who's a sellout in a white. I don't care how you who you are. I don't care who you are. When your ancestors sit up here and straight destroy a whole culture, a whole African race. We want to hear nothing about your opinion. We don't want to see you fighting and running around. It's something that you shouldn't be involved in. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. White people hey, sitting up trying to check you and see if you are for black people. Are you racist? It, well, hey, you, it, it's something you don't know. You don't know what's all going on. OK, we got a lot of lot of sellouts and crazy people in our culture. And, ain't, and, and, and you are not the one to come back and sit back and say who's racist and who's not. When you got all when all your ancestors were involved in destroying and beating down people from the same race, we don't want your. I don't want your opinion of me. I don't care what you think. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just being one hundred. <laughs> you know, and so really i don't want no american opinion because half of y'all ain't stood up for what you need to stand up for anyway you ain't stand up for no black people you ain't stand up for nothing you know what i'm saying 
All these preachers are scared to talk about what's really going on. You're scared to talk about it in your pulpit because it's not popular and you're scared your go the government going to follow you around and they're doing it anyway. Trying to see if you spending money the wrong way. Yeah, they still following you around. You didn't get away from it. You need to be talking about what's going on out here. You need to be taking your platform and stop talking about these these uh these prosperity not the prosperity message these get your life messages that's what I'm gonna call them all these get your life messages you need to you need to do away with them and start talking about this real stuff that's going on these crazy people out here these black sellouts hounds for racist white people that's what I call them they camouflage themselves. White people camouflage themselves by using black people against other black people. That's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Like nobody don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you, you, you know, you think a race war, a lot of you guys think a race war is out the question, and it's not. The race war, a race war is not out the question when you got people like Donald Trump with Trump supporters and white militias all around here and people getting beat down by the cops and riots. It's not out the question. You just had riots not too long ago. How is race wars out the question? That part. But man, a lot of people, y'all just don't know, man. Y'all don't know. There's no movies made about this. That's what I want to see. I want to see movies made about black chiefs selling African slaves. That's what I want to see. Everybody want to make all these movies and stuff, trying to act like, you know, the white man, this, the white, he, he, got, his, he got his big part in it. But you, but you have been hiding, you have been taking out the, what really happened. The transactions that really happened, which was African chiefs selling Africans to into the trade slave, the um, the trade of uh, the slave trade. In the transatlantic situation with the slave trade, was uh, African chiefs helping the white Europeans to get us here. Like nobody like and you and you, this is here. This is important information for the sake of knowing the nature of humanity. We're all corrupt and evil. Okay, it's time out for all these people, these black Jews and Zionists, walk around like you the original man and all like you some organically holy people when you sold each other out from the beginning. What about that part? That's what I'm saying. You know. They walking around like they like 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 okay if you are the original man okay good for you, but you're walking around like you're holy naturally. That's what gets under my skin, you know. And they do have all these thoughts of original man, original man, original man. What does that do for us right now? What does that say for us right now when you're hiding the history of? When you're hiding the history of <clears throat> black chiefs, African chiefs selling us into slavery, how does that change? How is it? You're not telling the whole story. So I'm tired of Zionists walking around talking about they're the original man, talking about they are the original people, talking about the black white people are this, white people are that, and you're not telling people that African chiefs sold Africans into slavery. You ain't telling people that part. That's important information because if people listen to you, they would think that the, that, that, that black people is holy and they just humble and they don't do nothing. When you can clearly see in this society, that's not true with Africans. Black on black crime. You can see that's not true. Yeah, so I don't care nothing about no original man uh, uh, message. That don't, what, that, what is that going to do for me? When I see black people robbing and killing each other, what is an original man message going to do for me? I can get myself together without an original man message. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that message. Because what I'm thinking is you, a lot of people are holding on to this and they are putting themselves in this superiority uh, place just like the white man is. You're making the same mistake 
a lot of these Zionist people are making the same mistake as the white superior, superior uh, right supremacists did. They're making the same mistake of thinking you're holy and you're nothing's wrong and you've done nothing wrong. You know, in history, you're just you're just the right people. And you're not necessarily per se the right people when you sell sold each other to slavery. Yeah, you ain't telling these black people that you ain't telling your audience this part. All you black people that pro black people, all you black Panthers, you ain't telling people that black people sold each other to slavery. You ain't telling them that part. I want to see a movie about it. That's what I want to see. We already done seen enough of what the white man done done. We done seen enough of that done. We done seen enough of that going on. Let's make a let me see a movie showing African chiefs selling Africans into slavery so that Africans will know that we that we all as human beings are flawed. You got to watch out for everybody in other words. You can't be acting like oh oh, oh. <clears throat> Black people ain't like this. Black people ain't like that. They wouldn't do this. They wouldn't do that. Man, nah, 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 nah. I'm going by history. I'm not going by no assumptions. I'm not going by no humble, humble uh, black women. You know, like this is like, 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 you know, or some, um, or some Nubian complex. Like, you know, with all the paraphernalia of oils and dreads and all these kind of things. And it's this 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 false sense of holiness and righteousness when you got sold into slavery by your own people. And you walking around looking at yourself in the mirror like mirror like you, you can do no wrong. You looking at yourself in the mirror like you like like you are some like you are some holy righteous people without God. You can only be righteous with God. That's what I'm trying to show you. You 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 are wrong too. I've been saying this. You know, you got black on black crime. So what is it? What so what is it, so what is it what does it matter if you're original man? What does it matter if you were the first kind of man here when you killing each other now? What does it matter? What does that tell us? They need to know, yeah. But I don't think you're going to get very far with that message anyway. Because you suppose God made us all, this is my personal opinion. I feel like, okay, you got all the races and that by the end of time, all the races will be coming together in unity and we will all be um, of like one race. Literally from like like with, with, with the Malak, with, with, with black biracial people and all of us coming together and it will that and it will be a beautiful thing with all the intelligence of all the races, the beauty of all the races. That's why people do like biracial people, because. I think it's a hidden mystery from God. You know, if people come together, there will be beauty because biracial people are beautiful. You can't take that from them. And it's just like a mystery to me that if, if people come together, there will be beauty. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But I want to see movies. You know what I'm saying? I want to see movies of people... Um, coming together like like showing the true story so that we can understand the nature of Africans because how Af how people are putting it is like making the if you if you listen to Zionists and you listen to certain pro black people you will leave thinking that first the white man is like some creature he's not really human himself he's not human he's like some creature and black people are like some humble people that came, that came from the clay of the earth and that they can really, they're the original people and they can do no wrong. And they're really a humble and sweet people. When you're not telling the key information about African chiefs selling Africans into slavery, you're not telling people that. This is important so you can so we can learn from history and learn from mistakes and that people and these children will not be walking around arrogant thinking they can do no wrong. And they still are doing wrong. They still are killing each other. 
but they got this complex while they're doing it because they're listening to, they're listening to a lot of black Zionists. They're listening to a lot of pro-black people and they're not seeing that their boo-boo stinks. Okay? When you don't think you can do no wrong, you wind up doing more wrong than everybody else. I'm going to say that again. When you think you can do no wrong, you wind up doing more wrong than, than everybody else. That's what white people did. They looked at themselves in the mirror. They seen their beauty. They seen what they had done in this country. They felt they could do no wrong, and they wind up doing more wrong than everybody. Black people are doing the same thing. They started to do the same thing. Because you listen to these pro-black messages, you listen to all these messages, and it's good that you listen to these messages. But you walk away acting like you can do no wrong. Yeah, you do. You walk away like with this superiority, this superiority complex. Like you big and badder than everybody. If you so big and bad, then why you ain't created your own community? If you so big and bad, how come y'all ain't got your own communities yet? That's big and bad. To get out of the hand of the white man, that's big and bad. You so big and bad, why you still in captivity, looking like a slave? Looking like Kobe, looking like Toby. Why are you still looking like Toby? If you if you if you out of slavery. I mean if you if you big and bad. And if you out of slavery, yeah. Why are you still looking like Toby? That's what I'm saying. You, I mean anybody could be big and bad, broke, busted and disgusted, living with roaches, and, and living on top of each other. Anybody can be big and bad doing that. Go be big and bad and get the government off your back and build your own community like the Chinese people did. They got Chinatown right here in this country and ain't nobody messing with them. You, you so big and bad, won't you go build an Africa town? That's what I'm saying. I don't want to hear that 13-year-old girl little bad attitude like you bad. Nah, we don't want none of that. We want to go see you build your own community. You that big and bad. Okay? I'm just saying, these are the complex, these are the attitude people confront you with. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't taking that. I'm not taking it. I don't take it from nobody, man. I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I know the truth of African chiefs selling Africans into slavery. You don't see Spike Lee making no movie about that? Yeah, I, I got respect for Spike, Spike Lee, but he ain't never made no movie about African chiefs selling Africans into slavery. The emphasis. I'm talking about the emphasis. I'm not talking about little snick, little nuggets. I'm talking about a whole emphasis movie on African chiefs selling Africans into slavery. That's all you all you gotta do is look at the history before it happened. Then make come up to the climax of when they actually sold Africans into slavery. That's all you got to do. Go before the time that it happened. See the interaction of Africans and how they treated each other. The wars that happened, that we know happened. And then show how they turned around and sold us into slavery. Say that again. Show the African history before the trade slave, the, the, the slave trade the transatlantic slave trade before that show the history with Africans interacting with each other, the tribes interacting with each other, show that history and then show how they sold us into slavery, African-Americans into slavery. Okay. That's what you need to show, man, because this will open the kids minds up like, Okay, wow, it's every man for himself. Yes, it is. You see these, you see, do you see these rich black people helping you? They ain't helping you, man. Man, all they doing is taking your money, man. Don't be naive, man. All they doing is taking your money, man. They only giving you enough to you to keep their street credibility. <laughs> they doing just enough to keep their street credibility. Look at it for what it is. They hustlers. They hustling you. All they doing is using you. 
Just enough so they have street credibility and they can keep their money coming in. Because all that money, they ain't done nothing. Okay, then you really about yourself. You really not about the people. Then don't act like you for the people. That's what I'm saying. Then don't be don't be taking their money then. Go make your money for real on your own. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are doing that now. That's what they're doing. They don't need you no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you look at you. You're still looking stupid. You still look the same way you did before you was helping them. You look the same way you did before you was helping Africans get on. Before you was shouting them out, giving them street cred, giving them passes in your neighborhoods. You look the same way that you did after they got rich and left you alone and lonely. Okay? I'm just trying to show you. Because it's the end of times now. I mean, you know. I mean, a lot of people are starting to realize it's every man for themselves. They starting to realize it. You know what I'm saying? But we, we need to show people, man, that, you know, it was never that whole whole African unity like people like to paint. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we, we love to think, we love to wear the paraphernalia and, and all these things. That's good. But through all your songs and all your reggae music and all the things you listen to, you still need to know that Africans sold Africans into slavery. While you listen to reggae, you need to know that. That's all I'm saying. You need to know that. While you, while you burning incense and putting oil in your hair and thinking you the greatest in the, co in the country, you still need to know, and in, in, in the greatest in the world, you still need to know that African sold African chiefs, your leaders, which makes it even worse, sold you into slavery. You need to know that. <laughs>